Hi there. Um, this video is a very short tutorial on how to correct our addresses in Podio that have been imported with some strange characters. This is tedious. I apologize that we have to do this, but I appreciate your help. So I uh, just clicked on the main Podio page. This is what will show up. Whatever your dashboards you have will show up uh, when you open the software. You're going to click on the left side, choose a workspace. Uh, you may not have all of these workspaces, but that's okay. Click down to properties, sorry, scroll down to properties and click on it. Up at the top, you'll see properties again. Go ahead and click on that. And then I want you to come to the AZ, which is sorting. Okay, go ahead and sort it. And you want location Z to A. You can see mine is already sorted that way. Um, but if it's not sorted that way, go ahead and, and do it. Uh, location Z to A. So I can click on that. And then you're going to see in this list, you'll see uh, a lot of addresses that are not um, formatted correctly. Uh, they're showing these weird characters in a P before and after each field. Uh, so go ahead, ignore any that don't have that, um, but go ahead to the first one that does, you'll click on it, you'll go to the address, delete a letter, and then in about a second you'll see a Google Maps address pop up. Go ahead and click on it, and that's all there is. Uh, it will update, you'll see a green bar on the left, it'll turn yellow, uh, and then you know it's updated. And when you click back to properties, it will have disappeared. Uh, so I'll show you again. Click on the next one that has an issue. It's 929 Kettering. Go ahead and click in the address and remove a, a character. You'll see the address pop up. Uh, that's a Google Match, a Google Maps match. Go ahead and click on it. You'll see the green showing you that it's uh, it's been updated. There's no clicking save or update or anything like that. It just does it automatically. And then after you do so, you'll find that uh, the, these clicks are going off and basically you'll get these updates. Uh, when you update this address and Google has a match for it, uh, it will start to pull in information uh, uh, from Zillow through an API connection that we have. Um, just go ahead and ignore those updates. Uh, there's no reason to be alarmed by them. Um, and then you'll click back on properties and go to the next one. 916. You'll see that, that that last property address has disappeared. That just means it's been um, just scrolled down to the bottom of the list uh, because it no longer has these errors. So click again here into the address field, remove a character. Here comes the address. Okay, and then click back to properties. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Thank you. I appreciate it.